Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. As always, it's your girl Daniela here with my baby, my mega planner, my Franken planner, Miss Cassiopeia. And today I'm going to be um, setting up the weekly spread for one of my planner sections. Um, my world news section here we are my world news section so if you're interested in seeing how i set up one of my happy planner sections my section that i use for world news and journalism and all of that just keep on watching So I'm a Franken planner. I'm a proud Franken planner, meaning that I combine several different planners into one mega planner, one Franken planner to create my perfect planner. And this is all um, thanks to this disc bound system that the Happy Planner operates under. So I'm a big Happy Planner fan because I just adore the disc bound system. I think the disc bound system is perfect for me because it allows me to experiment and evolve and be dynamic with my planning style and format but at the same time allows me to be super structured and organized and that is actually pretty hard to do to combine both super structure and organization with being able to be super um, flexible dynamic constantly changing so how I set up my Franken planner is that um, I have several different planners in one like mega planner and each section is separated from each other by scrapbook paper dividers. And so I go ahead and I make these little scrapbook dividers using just regular scrapbook paper. Um, I tend to get mine from Michael's and I'll get scrapbook paper. And because it's fall, I wanted to give my happy planner like a fall makeover. So I made these scrapbook dividers out of fall style um, scrapbook paper. And I paper clip it to the monthly overview. So this month I have the October monthly overview here because otherwise I'll just get this like random, um, like weekly spread, um, in the middle of my planner because uh because since i take apart planners and i put them together they sometimes get you know things get a little wonky when you combine a lots of things together so what i like to do because i am a perfectionist and i love to have like um a smooth transition between planners i paper clip um the monthly overview to the scrapbook divider so that way i can just go straight to the monthly overview and I don't have some random weekly view just interrupting my flow. But this is the October divider. I'm using the Colorful Leopard Aligned Vertical Planner for this section. I love the dividers so much. This is the monthly overview or the monthly calendar view. And then we go into the weekly views, which um, it's kind of like a hybrid between a horizontal and a vertical because the days are in vertical format, but um, half the day is in this like lined vertical format. And then you have just like your box at the top um, and the months change. I mean, the color that the box and the accents are in changes from month to month. So this month, the month of October, we had this like beigey um, color as the accent. So this was the first week in October. This is the second and current week in October. My bookmark, uh, I have this Mickey Mouse bookmark, which I put some stickers on it to make it even cuter. And then we have the upcoming week, which is the week I'm gonna decorate with you today. But um, this is my um, world news section. And I call it my world a new section because this is where I like to journal about things that I listen to on the news, um, articles that I read from different news sources. And yeah, I, I use this to motivate me 
to read um, news, listen to news, and just be updated and constantly aware of what's going on in the world, both um, on the national scale. I live in the US, so I listen to a lot of US based news, but also on the international scale. And for that, I, I tend to try to read widely and listen widely to a variety of news sources so that I'm well informed. Um, and I tend to get my news sources like 50% from radio and 50% from um, articles online and uh, with radio I'm not I'm actually not very diverse when it comes to my listening um, to my to my what I listen to so if you have any recommendations for radio stations leave them down below I tend to listen to NPR a lot uh, because I do like their their journalistic approach I, I like how the what on what they report on but I also read various different news outlets, like I have a subscription to the New York Times. I also uh, get the weekly newsletter from the Marshall Project, which is like a journalistic uh, project um, that is more oriented to um, reporting on news that have to deal with the, um, the carceral systems, and, so jails and prisons. And yeah, I tend to read a lot of different things and I, I'll journal about what I read here in this planner. And as I said, it motivates me to stay on top of my news. So let me just kind of walk you through the last two weeks and what, how I kind of work um, in this planner. So on Monday, I read two uh, articles, one from the Marshall Project that was reporting on the conditions within the Rikers Island um, prison in New York. And there was a quote in the title that says, it looks like a slave ship in there, which was, I thought was really striking. And so I, I wrote that down. And I tend to write um, the titles of the articles I read and maybe the most important takeaway I took away from the article in this planner. I also read an article from the New York Times that says subduing suspects face down isn't fatal. Research has said now that research is on trial. So that was an article about how there's been a lot of research done about how um, doing, you know, subduing suspects or subduing people when involved in like an investigation or involved in um, a like a police uh, a situation. There was research that showed that it wasn't deadly to um, subdue a subject face down, but now that research is like under attack because um, more research has been coming out slash the original research has been revisited by current researchers. And now the, 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 the evidence out there that this is true, that subduing suspects face down isn't fatal, is really under attack. And so that was really interesting. Um, so I, I wrote down that, that article there. And then on Tuesday, I read an article in the New York Times about how President Biden um, calls curbing the filibuster to raise a debt limit a real possibility. And that was interesting because um, up to that point, I'm, I have to say that I wasn't really too knowledgeable about filibusters and why people undertake filibusters and what's needed to curb or stop a filibuster. So a filibuster is something that a politician does in order to kind of stall a bill from passing. So everyone has the right to um, talk and talk and talk and talk about whatever it is is passing and delay its passing. And um, normally, if no one's filibuster filibustering, you just need a majority um, in in the Senate to pass a bill. So, fifty one out of a hundred people need to vote yes or no in order to pass or you know um, strike down a bill. But when someone is filibustering and you need to move past the filibuster, you need sixty votes in order to push it through either way. And so that is why people filibuster. You need um, it forces the other other side to have to um, somehow get those votes, like get more than a majority, get 60 out of 100 votes in order to pass or block a bill, which I thought was really interesting. And then on Wednesday, I read an article in The Atlantic about how the United States is losing its black police officers in the force. It seems like in the 80s and 90s, there was this like um, 
push to diversify the police force and there was a hiring of black police officers that really boosted the the, the ranks of police officers across the nation to have um, more black police officers but that hiring boost has slowly um, petered out and those officers hired then are now retiring and they're stepping out of the police force and there hasn't been an increase in hiring black police officers and so um, the end result is that the United States police force on a national scale is um, losing its black police officers and so that was really interesting I wrote about that and then this is an interesting article um, on Friday I read an article from Nature which is like a really uh, high profile scientific journal and it was reporting on how this really high profile autism project in the uk was put on hold after backlash from the autism community that was stating that um that's that project that study hadn't really uh, properly consulted the autism community um, before it started studying um, autistic uh, people and so that was put on hold that was interesting over the weekend, I read an article, I actually didn't write what article or what journal this was from, but um, I think it was from the Marshall Project, but this was about how several states after George Floyd's murder um, considered bills to cut back qualified immunity, which is that um, protocol that really protects police officers um from uh, from a lot of things and uh, it's hard to hold police count officers accountable because of this qualified immunity so a lot of states have been considering cutting qualified immunity or at least kind of taking the teeth out of it however no state except colorado has really passed a bill that um, reduces qualified immunity and so um, everyone is kind of eyes on Colorado for how that is going to affect, you know, um, the justice system and police relations with the community. So those are that's everything that I read that, um, that this past week. And I also read a, a couple of articles this week here. And um, let's see, I'll, I won't go over all of these, but some of the more interesting things that I read, uh, I was listening to a piece on NPR about the Facebook whistleblower, Frances Hagen, who's testifying to Congress um, about some of Facebook's practices um, that she says are kind of sketchy. You know, Facebook seems to have the, these policies that try to encourage um, like, uh, I don't, how do I say this? Like Facebook tries to encourage uh, like inflammatory content in order to uh, encourage participation on its platform. And she was feeling that that wasn't very ethical. So of course, Facebook is definitely denying this. And yeah, it's just interesting to follow. And actually, the last half of this week, Thursday through today, I've been so busy with work that I totally didn't read anything. And so I might try to read a few articles uh, before the end of the day and I'll, I'll fill out this page here. But um, we're going to go ahead and decorate this spread here and um, get me ready and inspired for the coming week. So I have here my mix of random stickers these are stickers from all over um, just like a bunch of random stickers left over from a bunch of sticker books so let's see what i can do here a lot of these are gardening stickers which uh i don't want to use in this particular planner section so let me see if i can um let's see maybe i can use um, Let's see, I have colorful boxes as well, but I don't know if I want to use those necessarily. Maybe I'll use this page here with the full boxes and then I can maybe pull for these little scallop uh, headers and let me see, um, maybe this page here with some of these full boxes and let's see yeah i think that's about it let's start off with these pages and if i decide that i need more more stickers i'll just go ahead and um pull for them so let me put down these full boxes first these 
blue full boxes. And I'll put one. Oh, that's already getting crooked, I can just tell. So let's put down these full boxes in no particular order because um, because this is kind of like my news journal, I tend to not really care how I like organize things um, because I just work around whatever it is that I uh, that I decide to use. So I'll I'll do all sorts of things in this section. Let's go into this uh, sticker storage collection thing that I have going on here and see if there's anything I want to pull for. Well, I'm going to add these full box stickers to this section here. I'm trying to get rid or I'm trying to get through all of my stickers and so whenever I have like a sticker page that has just a few stickers left in it, I try to transfer them over into this sticker collection so that way um, I I just get through a lot of my stickers I'm gonna grab this full this long box that says hustle on it and pop this down somewhere here Maybe I'll add some of these flags here, like some of these purple and blue flags. I might add them around this per the spread um, to just kind of mark where I want to write. I'm just gonna grab one of these birds. I think it's gonna be a little bit random, but kind of cute. Maybe the blue bird will kind of tie in with the blue theme that I have going on. So let me pull the sticker. It's kind of stuck here. All right, finally, that was hard, and it's a little, it's a little, it was a little uh, hard to get off. So there we go. That's cute. I like that a lot. I might even grab um, one of these floral stickers. Oh, oh, oh my God! I cut off like a little bit of that sticker. Um, it's usually pretty easy to, to tear these stickers or to get these stickers off the sticker paper. Very cute. And maybe I'll put, I'll add another, another bird just for fun here. So this one maybe. I'll add this one, maybe, maybe here. There we go. I love it, I love it, I love it. And maybe a quote. I think I, think I would like, I think I want a quote somewhere. Maybe this think positive quote. So that's a good reminder, um, especially when you listen to the news quite a bit, like I do, so. Uh, but I don't know where to put it. Maybe up here. I think positive. So I think that's it. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed like the little uh, the little flip through of 
the previous um, the previous weeks and I'm still figuring out how I want to use this monthly calendar view. At first I thought I wanted to write like one news item per day in this and I'm still thinking about possibly doing that. I'm not sure though because I also don't want to be redundant about um, about like what I'm writing in the weekly pages. Maybe maybe I'll write like um, the like a news item I heard that day um, on this calendar, and then I won't write it again like during the like the week. I'll just like write one news item um, here in the calendar. I might do that actually. Um, yeah, so we'll see. So, um, yeah, and I'm also kind of struggling with like what I want to use the October monthly overview as well. At first I was writing down like articles that I was reading here, but I figured that I'd rather do that like in the weekly calendar view. So I'm not sure what I want this monthly overview page to be or to look like. Let me know if you have any ideas about what I can use this page for. All right, everyone, um, thank you so much once again for checking out this plan with me. Uh, I really enjoy all of your support and um, your kindness. And yeah, so stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.